Hello everyone, I am Ezekiel Bruni and I am a general tech nerd, writer, consultant. And I am here today to talk to you about putting your privacy in the hands of Switzerland. I'm not even kidding about that. So, actually I'm here to talk about ProtonVPN, a VPN network from the creators of ProtonMail who are based in Switzerland. That's right, ProtonMail, the same guys that encrypt everything and have that super secure mail service, which is not the cheapest, but still pretty good. Before we get into the full review, I need to throw down a couple of notes and caveats here. While Proton VPN is still not our favorite, you can still get better for cheaper, in my personal opinion. Proton VPN is a really good VPN, and I am actually super glad I got the chance to review it. It was a lot of fun. And on that note, it was fun because it's an incredibly nerdy product that's being offered here. There are tons of security options to customize, and you might want to read up on some of these if you don't know what they are. And if you do find this video helpful or useful or it informs your purchasing decisions, please do, of course, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon for more tutorials, tips, tricks, uh, how-tos, and, of course, VPN comparisons. So this is the Proton VPN app. Once you've signed up and paid for it and all of that good stuff, you can connect to one of 60 plus countries with you know various servers in every country. And you'll also notice some free servers in the mix. Don't use those. They're for the Proton VPN free plan, which is decent, but you know, kind of slow because everybody, you know, lots of people are using that. I am actually on the unlimited plan, which gives me all the good stuff Proton VPN and Proton Mail has to offer. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple UI. You can select your country here, you know, on the map, and you can zoom out, which is great, and that's something they don't have in some other map-based VPN apps. Anyway, uh, you can also, of course, you just use the list. You've got a number of features here, including profiles, which let you connect to specific servers whenever you like. That's what I, uh, I use this one. It's great. Now, uh, before we get too much into the features, let's show you how fast those servers in 60 plus countries are. 60 plus countries, I didn't get the exact count, I'm sorry, uh, is decent. It's a decent network spread. You'll most likely be able to find, oh, ooh, 38 milliseconds ping, I like that. You'll most likely be able to find a server close to you for fast speeds. I am in Mexico City, I'm connected to Dallas and I'm hitting my 115 plus megabits per second limit. Darn! Okay, that is that is a fantastic speed result, not gonna lie. And, and I have 10 megabits per second upload speed, and I am hitting that for the most part. Well, I'm close. I'm definitely around or above uh, the average I get on a lot of these VPN services. Cannot complain about that speed. It says the server I'm connected to is at 51% load. I do like that they tell you how loaded the server you're on is. That is... Mm, love that. Again, not my favorite VPN, but my favorite VPNs could probably pick up a few tricks. All right, but you know, of course, that's just the raw speed. That's not everything you want to do with a VPN. You might want to say, watch some shows while you're on the go. If you're traveling for work or, you know, for just for vacation, why should you have to miss your shows? Well, I'm going to put on a quick episode of Great News, which honestly deserved way more than two seasons. And we're going to see if Proton VPN lets us use Netflix, and it's working just fine. Can't show you more than that for copyright reasons. I'm going to try another streaming service in a bit real quick. Okay, now here I am logged into Hulu. Let's give that a try. Hulu only works in the US, so of course I am still connected to that Dallas server. Uh, don't watch Shorzy unless you're okay with lots and lots of profanity. Let's try uh, something a little tamer. Something more PG-13. And that is working just fine, as you can see. All right, I am on HBO Max. So far, so good. Going to hit the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy here. Let's see. Ah, uh, yep, it's working just fine. As you can see, Proton VPN here. Working just fine for the, you know, your usual use cases. Changing your IP address. Uh, working, and of course watching stuff online. Now I'm going to run a very quick torrenting test. I'm on the WireGuard protocol, so it should work just fine. I've got a Linux ISO I'm downloading here. 
Let's resume. Okay, I might need to restart the app. Oh no, there we go, there we go. Uh, it's building up the speed. Okay, f five, six, seven megabits per second. Oh, working just fine. You do need one of the paid plans for torrenting to be supported, but that's to be expected. Torrenting is one of those fancy features. All right, let's get into some of the other uh, uh, security features and settings that Froton VPN has. Normally, I just try to talk about these quickly, but this time I'm, I'm gonna go in and show you. So you've got options to connect to the app on start, to start on boot, all that usual good stuff. You've got your VPN accelerator, which can uh, use as performance uh, technologies to help boost your VPN speeds. You can use custom DNS servers. You can uh, activate a kill switch so that, of course, when your VPN disconnects, your whole internet disconnects so you don't accidentally leak any data. You've got split tunneling so you can decide which apps will or won't use the VPN. So if you want to game on one screen and watch Netflix in another country on another, you can do that. You've got your IPv6 leak protection, DNS leak protection. You can, of course, choose between OpenVPN and WireGuard if you want to. Uh, you get a AES 256-bit encryption by default, it, which it makes sense. You know, this is the privacy-conscious uh, VPN. It does support the Tor browser. Also have the option for port forwarding and yes, alternative routing. Uh, that's right, you can, um, if basically, if certain servers are, you know, uh, from ProtonVPN are blocked, you can choose uh, the automatic routing function to automatically look for other ways to connect you to the server you want. You can use profiles to connect to specific servers which can replicate the effects of a, of a static IP, but it's not like a dedicated IP just for you. There's also the NetShield feature, which will automatically block ads and trackers at the DNS level. And then there is the Secure Core feature. Secure Core is interesting. What it does is it analyzes the data you're sending to the servers. N not like that, but it basically decides what data is most sensitive and those sensitive, that most sensitive data gets routed through the most secure servers that ProtonVPN has, like their extra fancy servers that will slow down your internet a, at least a bit. Can't be helped, but it's an interesting feature for those who are wanting that extra, extra bit of security. Obviously, ProtonVPN is supported on Windows, but it is also supported on Mac and iOS, Android, Linux, some routers, Android TV, Chromebooks, and OpenVPN slash WireGuard config files are available. So you can just, you know, hook up any device that supports those and it'll automatically connect to the server of your choice. There are no browser extensions that I have found though. You can connect up to 10 devices at a time, which is on the higher end, and I love that. There is email support and a bot chat app uh, that you can use to get some support, as well as a knowledge base, of course. There is a 30-day money-back guarantee. Yep, a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if, and of course, if the more you pay, the better the price is. If you pay for a couple years in advance, you get cheaper prices. This, by the way, is probably where you want to head on down to the description and click on the link to our coupon page, where you can get coupons for basically every major VPN out there. We can save you a lot of cash, especially if you're paying for a lot of time in advance. Proton VPN accepts credit cards, debit cards, PayPal, Bitcoin, bank transfer, and cash. I am not kidding. They uh, they accept cash, and you have to contact them, of course, to uh, you know, for them to tell you how to send the cash. But once you do, they will, you know, um, it takes a while, but then they will set up a profile for you and, you know, upgrade your plan and all that. Okay, the final score. Proton VPN isn't overly expensive. It has a half-decent network, and its security features are fantastic. The whole Proton uh, suite of products, so far just Proton VPN and Proton Mail, I think, is specifically designed with the security conscious nerd in mind. So it's uh, honestly, their reputation for security and privacy is absolutely fantastic. And like I said, they're lo based in Switzerland, which means they are subject to Switzerland's privacy laws, which are also fantastic. So if you are so, shall we say a whistleblower uh, for uh, you know against uh, you know your government or a corporation or you just really want to be safe or you're reporting on criminals or whatever else you might be doing that might put you in danger proton vpn is legitimately a good option and maybe the one i'd go personally go with most people don't need any measures that extreme however and if you want a wider network of services to choose from 
even faster speeds, availability on even more platforms, I would recommend going with ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN has all of that good stuff, is a little easier to use for most people, and honestly is a, honestly is a lot more beginner friendly in general, and is fantastic for streaming if that's something you want to do. If you're looking for a power user option with, uh, you know, a graphical Linux client and, you know, a slightly more customization, go with private internet access. And it's just generally great. It still offers, both of them offer wider networks and generally more features than ProtonVPN does. However, if you're in a bind, Broton VPN could be a very good option. I will not say anything bad about it because other than offering somewhat less of sort of convenience features for somewhat higher prices than some of the competitors, other than that, it's a great product. All right, now for full reviews of all of these VPNs I just mentioned, ExpressVPN, Private Internet Access, and of course, Proton VPN, check the link down in the description for, you know, the full reviews. Also, of course, we have the link to our coupon page, again, for deals on basically every major VPN you can think of. Now, if you liked this video, if you found it entertaining and useful or helped you make a purchasing decision, please do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon to get all of everything we do, all of our tips, tricks, how-tos, reviews, all of that good stuff. Please go ahead and do that. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making it. This has been a lot of fun for me. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out.